In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can teach yourself to sew in a way that it's effective, positive and budget friendly. I'll share about how I learned to sew as well as talk to you about goals, priorities, planning, practicing and improving your skills. But first, a little bit about myself. My mom doesn't sew. My grandma, who was long dead before I had a chance to meet her, as far as I'm aware, does not sew. So I broke the generational curse and I taught myself how to sew. I had little time and I had little money, but in 2020, I started sewing and three years later, I'm still sewing, I'm still learning, I am still growing. So here's how I did that. The first thing that you're gonna do before you even touch a sewing machine is ask yourself, why do I want to learn sewing? For me, my why was I wanted to make my own clothes and I wanted a hobby to help me with my mental health. Sewing is frustrating at times, so knowing why you wanna sew can help you persevere through the hard times. The next thing you're gonna need to think about is your priorities when it comes to sewing. Here were my priorities when I first started sewing. Learn how to sew with a pattern, make everyday clothes for myself, and only sew things that absolutely excite me. Your priorities will become guides in your decision-making in sewing. Once you've identified your priorities, it is now time to start planning. Sewing is a craft that needs a few tools, so it's important to plan out what you need. Because I wanted to sew everyday clothes, here's what I focused on. A sewing machine for dressmaking, modern patterns for everyday clothes, fabric that's versatile and I find exciting, and the necessary tools that will help me sew these clothes. The tools I chose for dressmaking were cutting mat, rotary cutter, paper scissors, fabric scissors, pins, seam ripper, thread, needles, iron and ironing table. Here's my biggest tip for planning. Start small. Buy three patterns and make those patterns. And then buy another three patterns and make those patterns and continue on that journey. Do not buy a thousand patterns and 200 kilograms of fabric at the same time, getting all excited because you're not gonna have time to make those patterns at the same time and time will pass and your style will change and you will no longer feel excited by these patterns or this fabric. So pace yourself and save your money for pizza. <laughs> With your tools already all bought delivered to your home, it is now time to practice. How you might wonder, step by step. Once I bought my sewing machine, I learned how to thread it. Then I googled how to make your first stitch and I did that. Then I googled how to sew in a straight line, and I did that too. Then I took the plunge. I bought a pattern, I bought some fabric, and then I started googling how do you cut a pattern, and I did that. I opened the instruction manuals, and I started with step one, which was sew some darts. I didn't even know what darts were, but you know who knew? Google knew. <laughs> so I googled that, and I sewed darts. It took me about two months to finish my first patterns, but by the time I finished it, I had a trench coat with a collar and cuffs and bias binding and buttons and a belt and it was looking fabulous. It wasn't perfect, but I just sewed my first pattern. So that's my secret. That's how I taught myself to sew following a pattern and googling techniques along the way. I was never going to have the patience to learn all the techniques and learn all the terminology before I actually sat down and made something. So what worked for me was to get my hands dirty, 
open up a pattern, cut some fabric and learn along the way. I'm not saying that that's the only way you can learn how to sew, but this is the method that worked the best for me. And three years later, I'm still sewing, I'm still enjoying it, I'm still learning, I'm still growing with this method. So I do recommend it. Once you sew your first pattern, move on to the next one. Take your time and grow your skills. My first pattern was a trench coat. The next one was a dress with gathers. Different projects, different skills. Then I sewed a turtleneck with stretch fabric and I moved on to jeans. And so, the more patterns I sewed, the more skills I acquired. Don't limit yourself to your comfort zone. While you're still fresh to sewing, push yourself and learn all of the skills that you can. As long as they excite you, as long as the pattern is something that you wanna make, just take a stab at it. You will fail and you will use the seam ripper a lot. <laughs> but you will grow so much along the way. I think I cut the pieces wrong. <laughs> Genuinely feel like I'm gonna cry. I cut the fabric wrong. Oh no. And don't worry about how long it takes you to finish a project. In the words of a wise man, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. So that's how I told myself to sew. I started with why I wanted to sew. I started with what I wanted to sew. And then I planned, okay, what do I need for this sewing business adventure that I'm embarking on? And I saved and I bought my tools. And once I had my tools, I was like, right, I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna have a go at it. And I Googled and I tried and then I undid my work to try again. And then years have passed and I've been able to make some beautiful clothes that I wear regularly with lots of joy and lots of pride. So if you want to learn how to sew, I really think you should. It is such a fun hobby and it is so, so good for your heart, for your mind and for your life. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to, you can support me by commenting, liking and subscribing. And you can also buy me a coffee with the thanks button uh, down below. Um, see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.